Slow down. Mm-hmm. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. Did I ever need that. Is that why you left me an urgent message? So you can get an afternoon kiss off of me? Mm. Something wrong with that? No. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting a big kick at how head over heels I am, aren't you? Oh, Buck Houston, you are adorable. And it is kind of nice to be the object of your raging desires. Mm. Now, hmm? close your eyes. I did. And sing Santa Claus is coming to town. Why would I want to do something like that? Never mind, he's already here. <laughs> Came last night and I got proof. Hmm. Found that under my pillow this morning. It's for you. Buck Houston, you are incorrigible. Park my pin machine? No, it didn't come in yet. I'm sorry. I... You're telling me that I have to go another day with disappointed customers and losing money? Look, I was thinking, eh? Lee, why don't you do this? You can get out of this place for today, and you can come in and spend the day with me and my brother at the shop. Well, now, that's the best offer I've had all day. Yeah? Yeah. Well, good. I mean, that way that way I could work, and I wouldn't have to worry about you with, with the old terrorists running around, Joe upstairs. On no. second thought, I think I'll stay here. I don't need you to worry for me. No. More important than that, and um, um, if you're with me, then I can I can look at you all I want. I guess you might be able to tell that I'm uh, I'm having a real hard time staying away from you. <laughs> yeah, but that's okay because I'm I'm really glad that you're here, and I've been thinking about. You know, how we were talking about starting over and everything. And um, I think that we should just, you know, um, um, start. start. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. And just, just jump right in? Yeah. Well, that's good, Donnelly. Because I'm, I'm, I'm already real in. Well, at least we're not operating in the dark anymore. Of course, it took an artist to figure out the connection between Tess and Curtis and the threats. Your guests have arrived, Mr. Masters. Oh, good. Bring them in. Jeremy, Tess, we've got work to do, and we've got to do it fast. God, this is unbelievable. Now, you are unbelievable. You were the cause of all this trouble, and you are damn well going to end it. Now, you call your husband's hitman off my family. Now! Do you understand me? I feel really stupid. I thought you wanted to make love. I do. I do. I, uh, it's really hard not to just give in, but... But I'm not Allie? No. This has nothing to do with Allie. Nothing. I... Look, sit down. Um... Steph, we have gotten so much closer. We're not just two friends sharing a loft, trying to start our careers. I care about you a lot, more and more, every day. And you are, you're so beautiful and sexy. Maybe, and maybe if I thought you really believed that, then maybe I, I could believe I it, do. too. I do. I do believe it. What do you, th what do you think started that, created Okay, that? so you've made me into this wonderful model for everybody else to want except for you. No. I just... I want us to date. I want us to date and go slowly and not jump into anything prematurely. Date? Yeah, you know, go out together, go to the movies, talk, have fun, and maybe when we're ready, we feel the time is right, we can try for more. Okay. Okay? You understand? Yeah, I, I understand. Um, it's 12 o'clock. Didn't you have the dark room rented mm -hmm. today? 
Yeah, you got it. The dark room. I forgot. Okay. Yeah. I'll get that. You go. Thanks. Um, we'll, we'll talk later. Okay. Bye. Bye. You are in every society section, in every paper in the area. Oh, my mom, that's great. <laughs> oh, that's not bad for somebody who uh, wasn't going to make it, huh? Oh, you know I never said that. Of course, you have the looks and the talent for the big time. Oh, you didn't seem so convinced earlier. I was only cautioning you, baby. I'm a realist, you know that. Yeah, you and Casey. What about Casey? Stephanie, are you all right? Sort of. Do you need Mother to come over and make it better? Could you? How could you use Curtis like that? He is my son. He is the only child I have left. You used him for your dirty work, and then you left him to die. It wasn't planned. He was helping me escape, and things went wrong. The men used Tess terribly. Your son acted honorably to help her. And why did he do that, Jeremy? Because she seduced him. We cared about each other. You don't have a caring bone in your body. All right, Gordon. No, look, I I'm being attacked enough. here, and I think I should have my say. I think that this suffragist mother act is a bit much, don't you think? <laughs> Are you saying I don't love my son? I am saying that Curtis and I did more than make love. We talked, and I heard all about his childhood with Mommy and Daddy, and if you asked him who abandoned him, he is not going to point a Ancient finger at me. This is not how we're going to enough. nail Enough, everybody, enough. This isn't getting us anywhere. Clay Alden. Yes, he's right here. Jeremy? That's probably our answer. Jeremy Hunter, yes? Thank you. I appreciate this. My friend of state found out a secret Dante's family's been hiding. He's alive, isn't he? Apparently, he lost the body on his way to the morgue, never to be found by the authorities. nice, huh? I mean, being friends and, and still being able to to be this way. Mm. Yeah, no big secrets, no big surprises. Just good surprises, right? Yeah, look how great you feel in my arms. Hey, will you go on a date with me tonight? I would love to go on a yeah. date with you, yeah. Yeah, how about um, rodeo bar, say, 6 o'clock? That'd be great. That'd be fine. I'll come get you. Okay. All right. Okay. And listen to me. If if Joe Young hassles oh. you any more today, listen. Uh, just leave him alone. Don't even talk to him, okay? Joe is upstairs with the flu in bed. Besides, I've got my FBI agent outside in his car. I mean, I'm fine. You don't have to worry about me. Go fix a bike or something so you can pay up when I beat you at pool. Hmm? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, we'll see about that. We will. <laughs> All right. All right, I'll see you later. Hello, Dinah Lee. Hi. I'm feeling much better. It's like a miracle. Oh, that's good. I, I'm happy. Um, I got some work that I have to do. Oh, no, and I want to tell you, I finally got around to uh, getting a key for that new lock so you can have one. Oh, good. Thank you. And also to uh, tell you to come on up. A toast, coffee. You're inviting me up to your apartment? Well, I know you've been anxious for an invitation, and I have been very rude. Please, forgive me. Just just give me a little while to uh, clean up my bachelor surroundings and the mess that Kitty the Second made, and then come on up, okay? Okay. <laughs> oh, great. Buck, these diamonds, they're, they're exquisite, but... Hey, I don't want to hear any buts. They cost too much or anything like that. All that matters is do you like them? And will you wear them? Well, how could I not love them, but... Buck, you're acting as if you're a rich man, and it's... It's just not right. Just a guy in love, Stacy. It's no act. 
Well, you must have saved a lot of money from your Hey, you don't job. really know what I have or don't have, okay? Well, I know what you don't have to do, and that's impress me with diamonds, Buck. It, it, it's not true. I, I don't need that. Stacy, it's what I want to do. Buck, you work in a cycle shop. So that's it, huh? The only guys born rich are allowed to buy you diamonds. No. A man with grease under his nails works hard for his money. That guy can't spend it on you the way he wants. Buck, don't get angry about this. Just, I just... just forget it. Just forget early Christmas of that I called, okay? Just go on home and talk to you later. You don't have to impress me. I'm already so impressed by you that I'm head over heels in love with you. You just have to trust them. this crush on Casey. Mom, it's more than a crush. I'm in love with him, and I have been for uh, way too long. And not getting anywhere, even though you live together. We're friends, you know, roommates. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I, I keep getting mixed messages from him. He gets romantic one minute, and then he pulls away, and he says that we should take things slow. He's a man, and like most men, he thinks you want too much, so he runs. Do you think that's it? I think if he hasn't fallen in love with you yet, baby, he's not going to. And besides, he's not your type. What is my type? Oh, someone who adores you and loves you and comes from a family that, well, I don't even want to say what, it. What, Mom, is it because he doesn't come from a wealthy family? Ordinary. Ordinary. And you remember how ill his father was? Who knows what Casey and her is. Casey is the sanest person that I know. Oh, honey, so sane that he keeps pushing you away. Anyway, there are so many wonderful young men out there who can make you so happy. Why should you moon over some guy who doesn't want you anyway? You know what? I forgot. I brought you a surprise. I completely forgot about it. A surprise. ta -da! No voice. Mom, a cherry cheesecake? From Kramer's Pastries, your favorite. <laughs> I can't eat this. Models don't eat cheesecake. Oh, honey. Oh, I only got it because I thought it'd make you happy. Anyway, listen, I've got a dash, I've got a hair appointment, and I'm sorry I can't stay any longer. Okay. okay. I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Malcolm, it is me. Dante, I hope this isn't your one phone call from jail. Very humorous, Malcolm. I'm serious. The cops and the feds are everywhere. Shooting an agent wasn't very smart. I am aware of that, Malcolm. That is why we are moving into phase two. Finish uh, this business with Buck Houston. Then prepare to move on. What are you going to do with Alden? Kill him. No. Mm. But there will be another member of the family joining us. So we will have our party of three still. Contact me in two hours. Abianto. Now for the news highlights. Corinth police report they have several leads on the gunman who shot an unidentified FBI agent at the Brunel fashion show. Sources say they hope to make an arrest soon. In other news, the high winds and chilly temperatures.
Don't be too hopeful, Curtis. They are bluffing. They are trying to scare me. Uh, however, perhaps I should be a little uh, more gracious and uh, tweak your family, so to speak. Kes, where exactly on his hand is the tattoo? Here. That's the kind of thing people remember. They're going to spot him easily. You have to catch him immediately. You know, he's capable of doing anything. Good afternoon, Mr. Alden. How are you on this cold, wintry afternoon? No, no, no. How are you, Mr. Dante Part Two? Yes, we've all been wondering just how you faked your death. Would you enlighten us? What's that, Dante? Yeah. Not even the jackals will want you when I am finished, Mr. Pussycat. <laughs> Lounging around. Get up. I am taking you to dinner. So let's roll. Okay. Where did you get all this energy from? Ah, Steph, <sighs> the alley cloud, it's lifting. I keep feeling better and better, which just makes me realize how low I have been. You see? You see how good you are for me? So come on, let's go. All right, so I'll get ready. Oh. Hurry. Do what I do. Eat till you drop and get rid of it. Oh, Houston, please. Hey, Malcolm, it's me. Hey, listen, old buddy, I was just worrying how our stocks are doing there. I'm calling with bad news, Buck. I'm afraid the investment is a bust for both of us. What are you telling me? The company went Chapter 11. It's over. We gambled and we lost. Lost? That's all the money I had in the world. Yeah, but that was my brother's. Believe me, I am truly sorry, Mr. Houston. But if you recall, I did not ask you to invest. It was your idea, remember? trying to call me. I'm back to apologize. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry, Stacy. Unfortunately, you made sense. No, I have no right to tell you what to do with your money. And I'm really sorry if I sounded ungrateful. No, it's not. It's no big deal. I'll return the earrings. No. No way. These are a symbol of how much you love me. And I'll be more than proud to wear them. Thank you. <laughs> Goodness. What's that, Dante? Now listen to this part very carefully. <laughs> 